Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to show you another feature within the EVLink application and that's going to be the EVLink desktop shortcut or EVLink keyboard. And this is an application which runs on your laptop and uh, what you can see here and this application connects uh, to your EVLink account and on your phone you create uh, manual scenes and then you can assign shortcuts to these scenes that you can uh, trigger from your computer. So let's say you have a couple of sun of lights in your office or in your game room and then whenever you want to set the lights, uh, you know, set them to, I don't know, game mode or turn them on or turn them off, you can just easily create a shortcut here from the laptop and that's going to trigger those uh, scenes. So you don't have to take out your phone and unlock your screen and go to the evening application to trigger something, you can just use uh, your keyboard. So you can automate things that you want to do, especially when you are working on your computer. So it is much easier to access them from your laptop than from your phone. There is one thing that I want to mention, that in order to use this functionality, you have to be an advanced uh, EVLink user. So you have to be in the paid EVLink account. I've done a separate video on that, but basically there is a separate page, the vip.evlink.cc, where you can sign up for an advanced account, and it is uh, 10 or 9.90 per year. And by paying either via PayPal or Google Pay or Apple Pay, you can upgrade your account, go from the free account to the advanced account, and the EVLink keyboard would be available for you for a year or until you renew your account. There are some other benefits to the advanced plan, and if you are interested in those, you can watch my other video that covers this topic. So once you have upgraded your plan, then you can head over to this uh, keyboard.evlink.cn site and you can download the evlink keyboard application. So there is uh, a version available for Windows, a 64-bit version, and also macOS at the moment. For Windows, it is a normal Windows executable, and then once you install the executable, then you have this application. Of course, of course, here you will log in with the email address and the password that you also use to log into the evlink application on your phone. And this is where it is at the moment. Probably the only thing I can uh, recommend you is you can configure this application to launch on startup, which is the default. But if you don't want that for some reason, you can untick this one. To carry on with the configuration, you need your phone and your EVLink application. And by the way, once you install this EVLink keyboard, then there is going to be a new device available within your account, which is going to be the well, it says the name of your lap, uh, computer, so for me it's desktop, well, this an ID. And then you can see the eight, six different uh, scenes that you can configure for this computer. So, of course, if you have multiple computers, uh, you can configure them to work uh, independently or separately. But first, what we need, we need a scene. So we head over to the scenes and we cl click on the plus button. The trigger is going to be tap to perform. And then now we can, we can uh, specify what we want. So what I want in my office is uh, when I trigger this, I want the lights to go off and I have a B1 uh, light bulb. So I want that to turn off. And I also want another device, a smart scene. And this is the L2 light strip. So this is an LED strip. And I want that to come on and that's going to give me an ambient light uh, if I want to watch uh, you know, movies uh, on my computer. So I'm going to save this and I'm just going to call this uh, movie mode and, and I'm going to save that. So I have created a new scene or manual scene that if I trigger it's going to turn off my light bulb and it's going to turn the LED strip back on. So now we head over to the home and then we find this new uh, EVLink keyboard device and here we can assign the new scene that we have created to slot number one. So that's going to be the movie mode and I save it. And then as soon as I do it, um, I don't need my phone anymore. And now we can head over to the computer and now we can see that within the application, the movie night uh, scene appeared in the first slot. And as you can see, we have six slots altogether. And now we can enter the shortcut. And we can configure a shortcut using either a, a key or a combination with one of the control keys. So as you can see, we can use control, we can shift or alt. And of course that would be slightly different for Mac, but 
I guess you get the idea. And you can also do double combinations. So Control Shift, Control Alt, and Shift Alt. So maybe what I can do is I can just put it on Control Alt M, and that's going to trigger the movie mode scene within my Eevee Link account, which is obviously going to influence those devices that we have just uh, set up. So now we can test it out. So as you can see, I'm sitting in front of my computer and the, the light is on and actually the application is still running, but it's not running in the foreground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press Ctrl Alt M and that's going to trigger the uh, scene. And now what you can see that the main light has gone off and the LED strip, which is right to me, came on and it has given me an ambient light for me to watch movies with. And this is all about the new EVLink keyboard function. If you are interested in this, I'm going to leave a links to the uh, VIP subscription page and also the download page for this application in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.